Jewish national home in Palestine, seen as a founding document of the State of Israel. Uh, for others, the, it's sort of implying, implicating Britain in Zionism, for, for good or bad. How in 2017 should that be marked, do you think? Well, I think it should be marked by a serious study of the history of the, of the whole region, because it also came on the back of the then secret Sykes-Picot Agreement, which didn't become public until I think 1922 or 3, something like that. The Balfour Declaration was actually an extremely confused <coughs> document which did not enjoy universal support in the cabinet at the time, indeed was imposed by some of the Jewish members of the cabinet because of its confusion. Because what it said was it supported the establishment of a homeland for Jewish people in Israel, but at the same time said it would protect the rights of the existing population and guarantee them similar rights and similar opportunities. It's pretty obvious that the rights and opportunities are hardly similar across the whole piece. Levels of, stand, levels of standard of living are very, very different. Levels of opportunity are very, very different. Levels of power are very, very different. And so I think we have to look very carefully at the whole history. Britain then became the mandate power under the um, Versailles Agreement later with the League of Nations. And then finally, the establishment of the State of Israel in 1948, which again was actually a pretty brutal and pretty confused period and also led to the expulsion of a very large number of Palestinian people which is still, the problems are still there. You have to address the rights of everybody if there's to be peace across the whole of the region. Surely that is something we can all agree on and strive for.